On today's show, can diesels make a quick comeback in the US? One group says yes. BMW finally lets Android users into its infotainment system, and we'll show you the highlights from the New York Auto Show. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily for March 23rd of 2016. Volkswagen can't sell its diesel-powered cars in the U.S. because it's still working on a fix for the engines, and that's really hurt the overall market for diesels. Through the first two months of the year, sales are down 17%, but despite that, the Diesel Technology Forum predicts diesel sales will recover over the next few years. One reason is diesels will help automakers meet stricter fuel economy regulations in the coming years, especially pickup trucks. Another reason is there could be up to 24 new diesel-powered models introduced in the U.S. over the next year. While diesels are down, if you exclude VW, including Audi and Porsche, diesel sales are only down 4% for the year. So it's easy to see why it sees that trend reversing. BMW announced that Android users will finally be able to control certain apps through its iDrive system. The option has been available to Apple users since 2011. Owners will have to download the BMW Connect app and connect their phone via Bluetooth. The first app integrations include popular music services, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and Pandora. For now, it's only available to 7 Series owners, but BMW says, quote, app integration for all other vehicles equipped with BMW apps and Mini Connected will follow at a later date. And speaking of Spotify, the streaming service has joined McDonald's, 7-Eleven, and BP in Ford's new mobility experience platform called Ford Pass. The automaker is aiming to understand people's needs and develop experiences and ways to help them move better. Ford Pass is free to Ford vehicle owners and non-owners and will launch in April in the U.S. and Canada. Well, Mazda and Lincoln wowed the crowds in New York. We'll have that right after this. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. And by Dow Automotive Systems, breakthrough technologies for lightweight vehicles. While we've seen an MX-5 Miata with a retractable hardtop, Mazda gave us a bit of a surprise yesterday with the unveiling of the MX-5 RF, which stands for Retractable Fastback. With the push of a button, the roof can open or close at speeds up to 10 kilometers an hour. The back window also opens as well, but the trunk space is still the same as the soft top model. Unfortunately, no word on when the RF will hit the market. Lincoln also wowed the crowds yesterday with this beautiful navigator concept. It features the automaker's new signature grille, a strong character line down the side, and taillights that stretch across the entire rear end, somewhat similar to the new Continental. Lincoln is also focusing on three key areas with this concept, spaciousness, quietness, and more power. Under the hood is a three and a half liter twin turbo V6 that produces more than 400 horsepower. And along with a whole handful of safety and convenience features, the concept is the most spacious interior Lincoln has ever made. While we're certain things like the power gull wing doors won't make it to production, if the new Navigator looks as close to this concept as the Continental did to its concept, Lincoln could have a real winner on its hands. And coming up next, Buick upgrades the Encore and Mercedes comes out with a coupe version of its GLC SUV. For the people at Dow, racing is a sport and a science. We enjoy one and learn from the other. But like most competitive people, we like winning at both. This is the human element at work, Dow. Buick introduced the refreshed 2017 Encore yesterday. As you can see, the small crossover gets a new front end appearance including new LED headlights. And the reworked interior now sports a less clustered center stack. New standard features include push-button start, 
keyless unlock on the exterior door handles, and an 8-inch touchscreen. The Encore is certainly an important vehicle to the brand. It accounted for nearly a third of all Buick sales in North America last year. Sales have been up for the first two months of 2016, and the refreshed 2017 model goes on sale this fall. Mercedes just revealed what it's calling a coupe version of its GLC crossover. I say that because while the styling does resemble a sports coupe, it still has four doors, so it's not a traditional two-door coupe. The new model is over three inches longer and an inch and a half lower than the regular GLC. It comes standard with all-wheel drive and is powered by a four-cylinder engine that cranks out 241 horsepower. The AMG version comes with a three-liter V6 twin turbo under the hood, which helps move the car from zero to 60 miles per hour in under five seconds. Both engines are mated to a nine-speed automatic transmission. The car is also lighter thanks to the use of aluminum in the body and components for the suspension. The GLC Coupe goes on sale early next year. But that brings us to the end of today's show. Thank you for watching and please join us again tomorrow.